Right, time to take a look at the five batting MVPs of the month of April. Remember, this is for performances in April alone. I'm going to say, I don't know the numbers, who are the batsmen that I want in my side, and then we'll get the impact numbers in. And so I closed my eyes and I said, right, who are the five that I want? Of course, I want David Warner in my side. I want Stephen Smith in my side because these two have just carried the batting of their sides along. And then the two who've taken KKR up. I want Gautam Gambhir in my side and I want Robin Uthappa in my side. And there's reasons. Gautam Gambhir's batting has, has been as good as it's ever been. And yet, you know, quietly he's been winning matches. He's been nudging, he's been hitting, he's been running and he's been doing all that. Robin Uthappa's power hitting has been, has been just completely different. And uh, David Warner has carried his side up once again. He's, he's got a little bit of support later on from Kane Williamson, occasionally from Dhawan, occasionally from Yuvraj, but he's just carried his side like he did in IPL 9 as well. So those four come in and then I just shut my eyes and said, okay, think this way. And the first name that came to mind, believe it or not, was Sanju Samson because of the kind of starts he's giving Delhi Daredevils in a very bleak period. You look at the DD batting and you say, no, there's nothing there. And yet the most eye-catching shots have been played by Sanju Samson. And I thought, yeah, I like this player. I must have Sanju Samson in my side. Right, now let's look at the numbers. A couple of other names come in as well. Gambhir just slips out because we're now looking at runs per innings and we're multiplying those by strike rate by 100. So who comes in? Because of the strike rate, Rahul Tripathi comes in. I've been mighty impressed with Rahul Tripathi, I must admit. Simply because he caught you and said, come, look at me. He literally grabbed you by the collar. 30 after 30 after 30 after 30. Why isn't he in my qualitative list? Because he's just not gone on and won you matches on his own. But for someone playing his first IPL in a side that's not getting great starts, where Rahane is not in the, in the best of form, there you are, Tripathi is giving you the run. So Tripathi came in and then the most peculiar limited overs player, and I'll go way beyond this IPL, literally in the history of limited overs cricket, you, you look at one day internationals and you talk about the Kohli's and the Warners, you know, no one talks about Hashim Amla. When we looked at the start, at the start, we looked at Kings 11 and we said, Marsh, yes, Miller, yes, Maxwell, yes, Guptil, maybe. Did we talk about Amla and say, wow, I'm looking forward to Amla. What has Amla done in his own unobtrusive way? And sometimes I think that is the reason they don't hit you. The numbers hit you, but they don't hit you. You admire them, but you don't say, oh, Amla. Because he plays, his personality is very different. His shot making is not like Warner. He doesn't club the daylights out of you. And so Amla comes in. And if I had to then say, right, here are the numbers. Now change your list. I would have said, yeah, Amla was Samson any day. And that's why I want you to do this fun exercise as well. That close your eyes and say, who are my five batsmen? Then look at this, that this impact series and, and see whether your qualitative assessment matches that. So according to the impact scores, who are the five batsmen that, that we must have, who've been the best in this year's uh, IPL? You've got Warner, 65 plus 150, that's average plus strike rate. You've got Uttapa, 42 plus 170. You've got Amla, Smith and Tripathi. And that's, that's not a bad list as well.